again on Saturday on the road over at uh, Roanoke Catholic, and they lost that game 70 to 53. So the Spartans on the road tonight, taking on the Pikeview Panthers, a team that they played uh, two times last year and had two struggle wins to get those victories uh, last year against Pikeview. And we expect a good contest here tonight on the road at Pikeview High School, located just off of exit 14. It's the Athens Road exit on the West Virginia Turnpike. We're just about five miles from Princeton here in Mercer County and about five miles from Concord University in Athens. Both teams completing their warm-up drills right now. Captains are meeting at midcourt. We'll come back, and when we do, we'll talk with Spartan head basketball coach Jared Patton. You're listening to the Fritz's Pharmacy of Alderson Spartan Countdown on the Bear 103.1 WRON-FM Lewisburg. The power of three, Greenbrier Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford, three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Did you hear that? The State Farm thing. Dun -da, da 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 da. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris. Things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris! Ooh, see? Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome back into the Princess Farmers. We have Alderson Spartan Countdown on the Bear 103. Jeff Campbell talking to Spartan head basketball coach Jared Patton. Coach, on Saturday, the Spartans go to Salem, Virginia, played at Roanoke College, and uh, lost a tough game to Roanoke Catholic by a final score of 70 to 53. Oh, yeah, the, the kids played great. The, the facilities were wonderful. Uh, Roanoke Catholic, huge team. Um, I know Coach Good. He does a fantastic job with those kids, and uh, we held right in. I think it was a six-point game going into the fourth, and uh, they just they just had a few more shots than we did. That's really what it came down to. It was a close game uh, into, into the fourth quarter there, and it just kind of got away. They outscored Runner Catholic, that is, outscored these 27 to 16 there in the fourth quarter. So that final margin of 70 to 53, if somebody just looks at it and think, well, that wasn't close, they had no idea what kind of game that was because it was a close game throughout, just got away at the end. Yeah, we, we tied them two of the four quarters. So we tied them first quarter, third quarter. Second quarter, they got us by six. But, I mean, we were right in there. Uh, that, and that was going against, you know, a much, a much larger team. I thought our kids, uh, they battled, they rebounded. Uh, we just need to hit some more shots. I mean, I think we were 50% from the line. we got to clean that up, and we've been working on that. Uh, just just a couple shots. I mean, we had a few go in and out. Uh, they got some lucky breaks, and, uh, you know, they did a good job uh, with, with second-chance points, and I think that's what got us in the end. Looking down to a roster, they had a 6'9", 3'6'5", 3'6'2's. I don't think in the last four years that we've ever seen a, or played against a team that had that much size. 
Yeah, those guys were huge, and, and they knew how to play. And, uh, you know, I think the rebound and margin, I mean, we were hanging in there with them for, for quite a while. And uh, some of our kids, uh, you know, they battled. They battled throughout the game. Um, you know, it was fun to go against a team that size. That's only going to make us better. Uh, we don't mind playing people like that. And uh, just we know somewhere down the road we're going to meet another team that's got the same size. So, you know, it's good to get that in, good to get that experience. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. We'll come back, talk about tonight's game with Pikeview. This is the Princess Pharmacy Spartan Countdown on the Bear 103. From the moment you walk into PostNet, we've got your back. From design and printing to shipping and more, whatever you need, we can help. We can bring your projects to life with advice and insight so you never feel like you're going it alone. Help you tackle everything in one place with a one-stop shop for everything from shipping a package to printing your big presentation. Save you time by not only getting the job done right, but also right on time. And all with exceptional PostNet customer service. We're more than just a place to get things done. We're your people. Welcome back to the Princess Pharmacy Spartan Countdown. Jeff Campbell talking with East Head Basketball Coach Jared Patton. Coach tonight on the road down to Pikeview, a, a team that we played twice last year, and uh, they gave us all we wanted last year at both locations. Yeah, they got they got a couple really good shooters, and, uh, you know, it's always a tough place to play here in Pikeview. Uh, you know, we, we prepared for them. We got a little, we got a little film on them, uh, watched them, and, uh, you know, hopefully our, our game plan works. It's a big stretch of games this week, and it's almost like, you know, almost like playing a state tournament where you have three games in four nights, which that's what you would have to do to win a state championship. So tomorrow the off day, and then you come right back on Friday at home against Beckley, Saturday at home against Radford. Yeah, I mean, we we had the, we had a couple te- we had a team cancel on us, and uh, I checked all over the state for other teams to play. I wanted these guys to have a full season, full 22 game season. That's where we're at right now, and uh, the only place I could find to play it uh, was Radford, and uh, those guys are pretty tough. Uh, they had a great year last year, but, you know, I like the challenge. I mean, it's, you know, Friday night's going to be fun. We're looking forward to playing Woodrow. It's always a, a great atmosphere. Uh, we got a lot of fans coming out, and these kids will be ready. They're ready. We're, we're, we're working the bugs out, and we're going to be ready for these guys. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight against Pikeview. Thank you, sir. Looking forward to it. This is the Princess Pharmacy of Alderson Spartan Countdown on the Bear, 103.1 WRON FM Lewisburg. The power of three, Greenbrier Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford. Three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Did you hear that? State Farm thing. Da-da-da-da-da. 
I think we in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris. Things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Ooh, see? Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. National anthem here tonight being sung by one of the students here at Pikeview High School. Greenbrier East and the Pikeview Panthers about set to get going here tonight near Athens, West Virginia. Don't forget Spartan basketball returns on Friday night at home as Greenbrier East is home to take on the Beckley Flying Eagles and then on Saturday the Radford Bobcats come to town. Friday night's varsity game starts at 7.30. Saturday, there's an early start time of a 6.30 varsity game coming up on Saturday. So make sure you mark that one on your calendar coming up this weekend. Two back-to-back -back home games Friday and Saturday for the Greenbrier East Spartans. Stan Unro joins us, and Stan, you take a look at this game tonight. The Spartans are 0-2 right now, uh, taking on a Pikeview team that gave them problems last year, and you're you know, just watching their warm-ups here uh, this evening. They've also got some size that East is going to have to contend with. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a good bit of size there, three or four guys that uh, look to be 6'3 or bigger, and they're very athletic. Uh, you just watch them in warm-ups. A lot of guys getting above the rim. Uh, their long, long arms, uh, just, just an athletic-looking team for Pikeview, a little different than last year. Last year they were a little more rugged and uh, foul-prone and, and things like that. Uh, this team much more athletic for uh, the Pikeview Panthers. They've turned off the lights. They are introducing the Pikeview Panthers, and Pikeview coming in with a record of 0-1. Uh, only one contest so far this season, and that was a loss uh, to the Herbert Hoover Huskies last week in big fashion. That game was played on Friday night, and Herbert Hoover defeated Pikeview by a final score of 74 to 36. But, Stan, we know uh, Herbert Hoover had a great football season. We know, therefore, their athletes in the building. Absolutely, a lot of kids transferring in to Herbert Hoover this year and a very good football team. In fact, an undefeated regular season and ranked number one in the state uh, going into the playoffs. So uh, absolutely a lot of athletes on that team. So uh, Spartans tonight against Pikeview, though, will have their work cut out for them. Uh, no Monquel Davis tonight, so uh, it's going to be tough. We'll see who fills in at the point guard position. They're going to start with Cole Withrow and uh, I guess go from there, see how things go. Spartans will start with Cole Withrow, Adam Seams, Goose Gabbert, Aaron Griffith, and Jude Libby. Pikeview, coached by Colton Thompson, will go with Nathan Reif, Cameron Lawson, along with Dylan Blake, Jared Vestal, and Drew Danewood. The Spartans in their traveling greens. Pikeview in the home whites, tap in the air. It is controlled by Goose Gabbard of Greenbrier East. And the Spartans will begin this contest with the ball offensively. Here's a corner three. Jude Libby fires it up. It rims out. No good. Rebound comes down to Nathan Wright. Into the front court comes Pikeview. Drew Danewood with it out near the center circle. Bounce passes over the left side for Lawson. Now they'll go right to right in the far corner over to Blake. Spartans matching up out of a zone. A corner three put up by Vestal is no good. And a foul called on the rebound against the Spartans. And that'll go on Aaron Griffith, his first. 
Team foul number one on East, but it will be a shooting foul for Pike Fuse, Nathan Wright. Good luck seeing this one tonight, Jeff. They got us down here on the floor behind three cheerleaders. And yeah, we want to thank Butch Mounts and Video Productions. They've got a huge monitor for us to be able to watch this uh, game off of. We can see the court. We just having trouble seeing through uh, some of the cheerleaders, and they're at the far end of the floor right now. And Nathan Wright hits both free throws. So thanks to Butch Mounts and Video Productions for the monitor here tonight. Two nothing Pike View to begin the contest. Here's Goose Gabbard, he'll drive inside. They're gonna call what? a foul. They wave off the basket and everybody's just kind of waiting around to see who they're gonna call it on and it's going on Pike View. Oh, then he can't wave off the basket. The basket's gotta be good. Here's our Replay we get the option to look at from video productions the ball and was out of his hands before any contact was there. So the bucket's got to be good I'm going down I'm gonna go ahead and give him two points Jeff Well, you can do that, but They will now put it up. So the basket will count for Goose Gabbard I mean, even behind the cheerleaders, we could see that. Free throw up, Gabbard misses, no good. Pike View with the rebound. And the free throw woes continue for the Spartans. Shooting below 50% through the first two games. Ball knocked out of bounds by Gabbard. Pike View will maintain possession in the front court. Down in the far right corner for Cameron Lawson. Inside, the layup shot is good for Vestal. Jared Vestal gives Pikeview a 4-2 lead. Into the front court comes Gabbard, kicks it off to Libby in the corner. He fakes the three, fires it up, shot no good. Rebound comes down to Pikeview's Danewood. At the other end, driving shot is up. Contact, foul called on Greenbrier East. I think they got Gabbert this time with the block. That is, that'll be Goose Gabbert's first team foul. Number two against Greenbrier East. And I like the looks here of, of East starting Jude Libby tonight. I know he's 0 for 2. Both those shots in and out. And, uh, you know, good-looking shot from the corners there, and he gives them a good option there shooting that three. First free throw is up and in by Cameron Lawson. Gives Pikeview the 5-2 lead, hits them both. Panthers by four. Into the front court comes East. Here's Griffith with it. Up top to Gabbard, back on the left side wing to Libby, now to Seams, over to Griffith, left alone, fires the three, the shot no good, rebound comes down to Pikeview. At the other end, they'll fire up the shot in the lane, it's no good, rebound kicks out long, Gabbard saves it to Seams, here we go the other way, Seams down the floor, drives, shoots and scores! Adam Seams on the scoreboard, cuts the Pikeview lead to two. And the official saying something to Adam, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I have no idea. No, not sure what that was all about. Take a look at our video productions replay here that we have access to from Butch Mounts. There's the save. We'll pick up the action here in a moment. Scored by Jared Vestal for Pikeview and it's 8-4. Here's the replay. Seams drives in. And I don't know what happened. Play. Yeah, that was live. Adam Seams driving to the basket. He'll get fouled. Go to the line to shoot two. All right, here's the replay. They called the foul on Danewood. All right, all I saw there was uh, Seams just Pass the ball to the referee, and he got a little talking to for that. Yeah, first free throw up and good for Adam. He's got three in the game. That'll cut the lead to eight to five. 
8-6 as he makes both. Seams with four points. Here's the inbound. They'll bring it up the floor. Get it down inside. Here's the little layup by Jared Vestal. It's good. 10-6, Pikeview. 5-15 to go in this first quarter. Vestal with six. All six coming on wide open layups right underneath the basket. Griffith drives. Corner. Libby three. Yes. Jude Libby can knock that three down, and he cuts the lead down to one at the five-minute mark of the first. Time and timeout, Pikeview. Pikeview. We'll take it. 4.56 to go on our first quarter. It's Pikeview 10, East 9. You're listening to Spartan Basketball on the Bear 103. 30. In West Virginia, we're known as hard workers, friendly faces, and people with a caring spirit. At Summit Community Bank, those qualities are at the core of all that we do. We're a group of experienced professional bankers that you've known for many years. We work hard to earn your business and will work even harder to help you succeed. We customize banking solutions that work for you. We're Summit Community Bank. Service beyond expectations. Hey, man, I really appreciate that Patrick Price on my insurance, Jake, from State Farm. 10-9 to score, Pikeview with a one-point lead here on Greenbrier East as Colton Thompson takes his first time out. Just inside of five minutes to go in this first quarter. Pikeview with it up near half court, and they're going to get Goose Gabbard on a foul. Team foul number three, that's Goose's second. Absolutely, and uh, without Monquel here tonight, we can ill afford to get uh, Goose and, and Adam in foul trouble, our main ball handlers. But uh, as you see, Coach Thompson called that timeout because Jude Libby had had that wide open three. That was his third time, first one time knocking it down. But uh, he's had three good looks at it right there from the same point on the same spot on the floor. Inbound for Pikeview. They'll work it inside. Dylan Blake shot will not go. Rebound put up and in by Jared Vestal. 12-9. Vestal having a field day right underneath that basket. Seams gets it across to Cole Withrow. 4.20 to go in the first. Here's a corner three by Brammer is no good. Rebound controlled by Nathan Reif. Pikeview with the ball and a three-point lead. Up the left side comes Lawson. He'll drive inside. Count the basket and a foul on East again. I believe they got Griffith this time. And that'll be his second. Team foul number four. Ryan Cole will check in along with Gabe Patton. It is 14 to nine. Lawson will go to the free throw line. He's got four in the game. He's got one free throw coming. Missed it. Rebound comes down to Cole. Pikeview with five-point lead. Here, Seam stops at the foul line. Pops, shot no good. It's knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to Greenbrier East. Cole Withrow did a nice job down on the baseline to make an attempt for the ball. Then Cameron Lawson dribbled it out of bounds on the baseline. Here's the inbound. They'll get it into Brammer. Left side, three ball up in the air. That one is no good. Missed by Patton. At the other end, driving layup is good for Cameron Lawson. Seven point pike view lead. Yeah, you can't shoot the, the three and then not get back on defense. And a steal on the inbound. Layup scored by Danewood. 18 to nine, timeout Greenbrier East. 3.35 to go in our first quarter. It's Pikeview 18, Greenbrier East 9. You're listening to Spartan Basketball on the Bear 103.1 FM.
The power of three. Greenbrier Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford. Three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car. With the lead over Greenbrier East, 18 to nine. Spartans down by nine. Pikeview on an 8-0 run stand over the last minute. Here's Cole Withrow, a corner three is good for the junior Cole Withrow. And the Spartans needed that to stop that run. Absolutely. Uh, nice job moving that ball around. Cole Withrow wide open from the corner. Driving shot on the baseline is good for Bestel. And Bestel having a game, man. He's got 10 of their 20 points so far. Yep. Pikeview by eight. No resistance defensively by the Spartans. Nobody with a hand up on him. Ball gets tipped away. It's loose down on the baseline, and they call the timeout, I believe. Yeah, Pikeview will take the timeout. 2.51 to go in our first quarter with a score. Pikeview 20, Greenbrier East 12. You're listening to Spartan Basketball on the Bear, 103.1 FM. From the moment you walk into PostNet, we've got your back. From design and printing to shipping and more, whatever you need, we can help. We can bring your projects to life with advice and insight so you never feel like you're going it alone. Help you tackle everything in one place with a one-stop shop for everything from shipping a package to printing your big presentation. Save you time by not only getting the job done right, but also right on time. And all with exceptional PostNet customer service. We're more than just a place to get things done. We're your people. Back at Pikeview High School near Athens, West Virginia, Greenbrier East and the Pikeview Panthers right now in a battle stand. 2012, the Panthers lead it. Yeah, and the, the Panthers just uh, dominating the offensive glass and getting easy looks. There's a travel. That'll be a turnover against Pikeview. Really an unforced error that time by the Panthers as the Spartans will get it back, trailing by eight. Here Seams out front, gives it over to Brammer. Out near half court and has it stolen away. Here comes Pikeview at the other end. Danewood gets it down low and a foul's called here on the Spartans. Yeah, and really a good foul there by Bryson Brammer. Uh, that, or else Vestal would have shot another layup. Team foul number five against East. Brammer, the first reserve to pick up a foul. There's a turnover against Pikeview yep. trying to inbound it. Spartans will get the ball back, trailing eight here, Jeff. And uh, other than Adam Seams, Spartans going to have to find somebody else out here on the court uh, that can create and make a shot. Spartans have it. They'll get it over to Gabe Patton. He's double teamed down in the corner, feeds it inside. Ryan Cole post up, puts it up, shot won't go. Rebound comes down to Nathan Wright. Down at the other end, the long lead pass. Too long, it's out of bounds to Greenbrier East. 2.09 to go in the first quarter. Turnovers coming in bunches now for Pikeview. That's, that's three in a row and uh, four turnovers in the game. Now Goose Gabbard will check back in. As I mentioned, the, the Spartans need another scorer out there, and uh, Gabbert gives them that uh, shooter and shot creator. He's got to be careful, though, with those two personal fouls. Spartans with it, down eight, just inside of two minutes to go here in this first quarter at Pikeview. Ball gets kicked out of bounds, and now substitution. Peyton Greer will check in for Pikeview, and Jared Bestel will get a breather, and he's earned one, Stan, with 10 of, 10 of the team's 20 points. Absolutely. Five of six from the field. Here's Patton, gives it over to Brammer on the left wing, bounce passes out front to Gabbert. Back over to Brammer, now on the baseline. Patton drives in, bounce passes back out to the corner. Brammer running one-hander is no good, it's out of bounds. 
And we got a foul called here on, uh, on Pikeview. No, it's on Greenbrier East instead. And it's either Brammer or Cole. Not sure. Yeah, there they go. They've called that on Zach Patton. Oh. His first team yep. foul, number six. Peyton Greer gets the inbound with 90 seconds to go in the first. And Pikeview will be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Nathan Reif with it out front. Gets the pass down, knocked away. Here comes Brammer up the sideline. Gives it out front to Gabe Patton. Now long three on the left side is good for Goose Gabbard. Goose with five, and it's a 20 to 15 game. East is rolling off five straight with 103 to go in this first quarter. Lawson with it, gives it over to Greer. Inside to Dane Wood, shot put up down low. That one's missed by Rife, and the rebound comes down to Brammer. Brammer down the floor, kicks it off in the corner to Gabe Patton. Now out to Gabbert, feeds it inside. Ryan Cole couldn't hang on, but recovers and throws it out in the corner. Now a three from the right side is up and in. Bryson Brammer. And Brammer, I was checking to see if it was a two or a three. I didn't see hands go up. 20 to 18. Spartans down by two with down to 25 seconds to go in this first quarter. Good 6-0 run here to get back in it. Here's Wright over in the corner. It's out of bounds. It's going to stay with Pikeview. Yeah, good hands there. Actually, Patton got a hand on that. Gabe Patton nearly came away with a steal. Like you just saw that replay. Uh, how Brammer set his feet before he even caught that ball. Pikeview down inside, layup shot is good for Dane Wood. 22-18, down to three seconds. Spartans need to get off a shot, they do. Brammer a three, no, and we come to the end of the first quarter from Pikeview High School with our score. Panthers 22, Spartans 18. You're listening to Greenbrier East Spartan Basketball on the Bear 103.1 FM. Pikeview High School set for the second quarter. And Pikeview with a four point lead will have possession to begin this quarter. They'll get it down inside. And a drive shot put up on the right side by Rife is no good. It's gonna be carried out of bounds. It'll go over to Greenbrier East. Yeah, and uh, really tough shot that time by Rife trying to get it over a couple of Spartan defenders and uh, not what they've been doing tonight. They, they finished first quarter nine out of 14 from the floor, uh, nine of 13 from two-point range, most of them being layups. So uh, that a little more difficult shot. The three-pointer keeping the Spartans in it. They were four of 10 in the first quarter. Down low, it's a Zach Patton layup. 22-20 now. Into the front court, now a steal. Zach Patton carrying the basketball. It turns over. 
But a nice defensive play there on our video productions replay. We see Patton take it in strong, get the layup, and cut the Pikeview lead down to two. Panthers with it. Here's Dane Wood. And it's stolen away. Here comes Gabbert. Bounce pass through the lane. Zach Patton layup. Good. Patton with four in a row. We're tied at 22. Yeah, great pass that time by Goose Gabbert. He gets the steal, makes the defender commit, and then passes it off to Patton for the easy layup. Back the other way. Dane Wood dumps it inside. Layup shot is good for Pike Fuse, Dylan Blake. Panthers back out front by a pair. Here's Gabbert across the timeline. Dribbling with the left hand. Now bounce passes with the right over to Jude Libby. Gives it over to Zach Patton. He'll drive in. Shot no good, but gets his rebound back. Feet seems open. Three, yes! And the Spartans have the lead. For the first time tonight, 25-24. Seven in the game now for Adam Seams, and that was a big one. Up the floor, Seams knocks the pass out of bounds. Pike View will have to trigger it again. Here comes Aaron Griffith back in for the Spartans for Bryson Brammer. Gives the Spartans a little more size now with Griffith and Jude Libby both on the court. Pikeview gets it down inside, the ball knocked away. Griffith picks it up, feeds it to Seam, sends it out. Goose wide open three, yes! Goose Gabbert hits the three and Pikeview needs a timeout. 6.06 to go in the second quarter. Greenbrier East has a four point lead now at 28 to 24. We'll return. You're listening to Spartan Basketball. On the Bear, 103.1 FM. Back at Pikeview and on the inbound, they call a foul against Greenbrier East, Stan. I, that's Zach Patton on the reach there. That'll be his second. And uh, team foul number seven, so uh, one and one for Pikeview. And I believe that's uh, Lawson. That'll be at the line. Lawson with six points in the game. He's two of three from the free throw line. First one is up on the front end of the one and one. It's no good. The rebound comes down to Seams. Here come the Spartans with a four point lead. Seams, no look pass inside. Griffith saves it, gets it over to Gabbert in the corner. Sends it back out top to Seams. No look pass underneath. Layup shot. Good. Griffith down low scores the basket. Spartans by six. Pikeview up the four. And the ball knocked into backcourt. Here's Patton getting after it. Patton gets the steal. In the lane, feeds it over to Seams. Lamp shot is no good. Tipped up in and a foul. Zach Patton with a steal. Fed it to Seams. Seams will score and draws the foul. Chance for the three-point play for Adam Seams. And also a chance for him to get into double figures. He's got nine now in the game. It's two of two from the free throw line. That foul goes on Pikeview's Caleb Dunn. That'll be his first. And only the third team foul against Pikeview. Adam Seams, chance for the three-point play. 
in the air, yes. Seems now in double figures. The Spartans now with a nine point lead. They had trailed by as many as eight earlier at 20 to 12. I don't know what we got here. They got another foul. Yep. I believe so. I think they called that on Goose Gabbard, and he's not on the court, is he? No, he's not. He wasn't even on the floor when that happened. All right, 525 of the second. Goose's third foul when he's out of the game. Cameron Lawson hits the free throw. Second one is up. That one is good. It is 33 to 26. So to go ask about that. Pike View with it. I'm sorry, Spartans with it. Here's Griffith on the baseline. Outside from the foul line, shot by Zach Patton is no good. Rebound to Pikeview. Panthers up the floor, Seams taps it away. Here comes Griffith down the floor. He'll drive and draw the two-shot foul. Well, Big A said he was in the game, so I'll have to take his word for it, Stan. Must have got him out quick. But that is still a big foul. That personal there on Pikeview goes on Drew Danewood, his second. And Aaron Griffith at the line for two shots with his team up by seven, misses the first. Second shot, good, so he makes one out of two. Aaron Griffith now with five points, the lead at eight. Spartans' largest deficit was 18 to nine with 3.35 to go in the first quarter. Pikeview possession, down by eight. They'll get it over to Danewood on the left side. Now Jared Bestelou's checked back in. And Stan, the Spartans have made part of this big run with Festel out of the game. In walk there. Travel called against Pikeview. Dylan Blake turns it over. Had a perfect view between the two pom poms and saw him travel, Jeff. Did you? Yeah, Is that what it was? Absolutely. It's like watching it on TV between the wall on each side. Under 420 to go in this second quarter. Pikeview on the de on the defense here as uh, Chris Sinclair's now checked in for the Spartans. Here's Zach Patton works the baseline of fouls called. And I believe that gentleman has called most of the fouls in this game. Absolutely, yes. That one will go on uh, Vestal, his first. Team foul number five. Inbound for Jared Pat. I'm sorry. Zach Patton. Here's Cole Withrow. He'll drive inside. Have it knocked away by Zach Rose. Outlet pass. Down to Vestal. Vestal has it stolen. Here comes Seams the other way. Seams drives, lays it up, and scores. Seams now with a dozen. Spartans by 10. 36-26, now Steams with another steal. Picked up by Patton, the lead pass for Withrow, too long, out of bounds. Turns it back over to Pikeview. Yeah, turnover number five for the Spartans, and uh, Adam Seams will get a much-deserved break here. He'll take a seat. 12 points in the game. 3.20 to go until halftime. 
Baseline, shot put up and in by Jared Bestel. Bestel with 12. 36-28, Spartans lead. East with the basketball and a throw it away again. We've seen both teams have several unforced errors in this contest. Mike View has it. Here's Dylan Blake in the corner, right side to David Thomas. He'll square, shoot, no good. Rebound comes down to Brammer of East. Off to Withrow. Into the front court, kicks it over on the right side for Patton. Back out top to Brammer, left side for Withrow. Chris Sinclair flashing in the lane, trying to get an open look. Here's a three in the corner by Withrow. It's no good. Rebound comes down to Pikeview. Lead pass. Cameron Lawson lays it up and in. Lawson scores the Spartan lead down to six. 2.20 left until halftime. And we got a tie up at half court. Possession is going to stay with East. Seams back in, he inbounds, gets it over to Brammer. In the corner, Seams for three, it's good again. Seams is on fire, he's got 15 points. 39-30, Spartans by nine. Pikeview at the other end. That's Vestal with another layup. He's got 14. This guy's not missed from the floor, he's just sitting there doing the layup lines. Here's Patton, his shot down low. Zach Patton is no good. Powell called on the rebound. Yeah, and they got Patton on the foul, but Patton got hit on the shot, no call. And then uh, they get him with the hit. He definitely fouled, but uh, I think he got fouled on the shot. And that'll be three on Zach Patton. Team foul number nine against the Spartans. So uh, one and one here coming for David Thomas. I watched from the monitor as the pyramid has temporarily blocked my view. Yep. Thomas's free throw is good. And he'll get the bonus. His first point tonight. Second shot by Thomas is good. And the lead cut down to five. Long lead pass, Brammer drives, lays it up, shot no good. Libby is fouled on the rebound. He'll go to the line for two as David Thomas fouls him. Jude Libby had great possession down low to tip that back up, almost made it. But the foul called there on David Thomas. Jude Libby will go to the line to shoot two. He's got three points in the game. And the free throw is missed by Libby. I didn't make it to the uh, Roanoke Catholic game, but uh, Libby not really an offensive threat in the first game against Bluefield, uh, getting a lot more looks tonight here on the offensive end. Second one, no good, missed them both. Rebound comes down to Danewood. Pikeview. Down by five with 90 seconds to go in the half. Ball knocked out of bounds by Seams. It'll stay with Pikeview. Inbound coming up here for the Panthers. And it's tipped out of bounds. And nice defense by Cole Withrow, Greenbrier East. 
kind of disrupted that pass. It goes off the Pikeview player. Out of bounds, so the Spartans will get it back. Yeah, Isaiah Brooks along with Ryan Kolchek back in for the Spartans. Back we go the other way. Baseline, shot by Seams is no good. Rebound into Nathan Reif. 103 to go in the half. Danewood up the four. Feeds it over to Blake. Blake drives in, layup shot is no good. He missed it, rebound to Ryan Cole. Spartans back up the floor with a five point lead. Isaiah Brooks has also checked in for East. Into the corner, here's Withrow for three. No good, rebound. Battled for, and Brammer comes down there with him for the Spartans. Over to Seams, here is a three left side by Brooks is no good. Pikeview has the rebound, Lawson feeds it off to Danewood. Corner three up in the air, good for Pikeview's Nathan Wright. 39-37, the Spartans lead has been cut down to two. 12 seconds to go in a half. And it's knocked away. Here comes Pikeview. Lawson with three. Drives in. Layup shot. Good and a foul with point four to go. Pikeview can take the lead. Dylan Blake scores. And we are tied at the moment at 39. Foul goes on uh, Cole Withrow, his first team foul number 10 but uh, the basket was good. And Blake will go to the line for one. Free throw no good and rebound to Ryan Cole. We've come to the end of the first half here from Pikeview High School near Athens, West Virginia with our score. Greenbrier East and Pikeview are tied at 39-39. We'll return. Here in a moment, you're listening to Spartan Basketball to Bear 103. The power of three, Greenbrier Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford, three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Did you hear that? The State Farm thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Christmas! Ooh, 
Well, see, surprising. Just like State Farm surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at Pikeview High School near Athens, West Virginia, Greenbrier East and Pikeview tied up at 39-39. Jeff Campbell and Stan Unro here with you tonight on the Bear 103.1 FM. This has been a uh, well, it's been a crazy game so far. It's been competitive. There's been a lot of points, been a lot of fouls, been a lot of scoring by uh, several players in this game. So it's been exactly what you want. It's been a great high school basketball game in the first half here tonight between the Pikeview Panthers and the Greenbrier East Spartans. Don't forget, coming up Friday night, the Spartans at home against Beckley as they take on the Flying Eagles. JV at 545, Varsity is at 730. And don't forget, it's your chance to win $25,000 from Alcova Mortgage of Lewisburg, you can sink a full court 94 foot putt and win 25,000. Consolation prize isn't bad either. Bring a canned good to the game for your opportunity to putt to win $25,000 Friday night at the Spartan Gym in Fairley. We'll come back and Stan Unro will take a look at our first half numbers, but on the scoreboard, we got a good one. We're tied at 39. Greenbrier Easton Pikeview. This is the Jeremy's Barbershop Halftime Show on the Bear 103.1 FM. From the moment you walk into PostNet, we've got your back. From design and printing to shipping and more, whatever you need, we can help. We can bring your projects to life with advice and insight so you never feel like you're going it alone. Help you tackle everything in one place with a one-stop shop for everything from shipping a package to printing your big presentation. Save you time by not only getting the job done right, also right on time and all with exceptional post net customer service we're more than just a place to get things done we're your people hey man i really appreciate that patrick price on my insurance jake from state farm being a champ has its perks here's the deal patrick state farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates let me repay the favor with some field passes come on no favors just great rates okay fine I'll let you wear the ring, but only for a day. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford, three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Jeff Campbell, Stan Unro with the Jeremy's Barbershop Halftime Show. We're tied at 39. Stan, how the numbers shake down? Well, the numbers uh, look great for Pikeview shooting the basketball. They actually shot 15 out of 22. I'm sorry, 15 out of 24 in the first half from the floor. Most of those being layups. Uh, they were led by Jared Vestal's 14 points. Cameron Lawson with 10 points, Nathan Wright five, David Thomas two, Dylan Blake four, 
and Drew Danewood with four. But again, 15 out of 24 from the floor, eight out of 11 from the free throw line. A lot of fouls called on the Spartans in that first half, which could come into play here in the second half. The, the Spartans on the other side shot 14 out of 32, which is 44%, which is really good. They were seven of 16 from two point range, seven of 16 from three point range. And that's what actually kept them in this game in the first half was that three point shooting. Uh, the Spartans were led in scoring by Adam Seams, 15 points in the first half. Uh, the only player for East in double figures. Uh, Goose Gabbert finished the first half with eight points, but three big personal fouls. So we don't know where he'll be uh, here in the second half. We'll come back at the third quarter underway. East and Pikeview are tied at 39. This is the Jeremy's Barbershop halftime show on the Bear 103. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. That's right. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Here in West Virginia, we're known as hard workers, friendly faces, and people with a caring spirit. At Summit Community Bank, those qualities are at the core of all that we do. We're a group of experienced professional bankers that you've known for many years. We work hard to earn your business and will work even harder to help you succeed. We customize banking solutions that work for you. We're Summit Community Bank. Service beyond expectations. Did you hear that? Stay farm thing. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris! Ooh, see, surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at Pikeview, set to get the third quarter underway here. We're tied at 39. And the Panthers will have possession to begin this second half. 39 all. They'll work it around the right side for Rife. Out top it goes. To Lawson inside, layup is good. Dylan Blake, and Pikeview has the lead. The Panthers have scored 11 straight points. East has it, here seems. The offensive bright spot of the first half with 15 points. Kicks it out to Withrow. Up top to Goose Gabbard. Goose picked up his third foul. In the second quarter, here seems fires a three, it's no good. Tipped inside, and Griffith lays it up and in. Ryan Cole tipped it over to Griffith who now has five points, and we're tied at 41. Panthers now working to the near side of the floor where we're at down on the baseline. Ball tipped away. It's controlled by Cole Withrow, knocked over to Seams. Here they come. Spartans have numbers. Seams, bounce pass, layup shot is good for Goose Gabbard. 
The assist to Seam. Spartans lead it 43-41, and Pikeview's going to throw it away. We talked about how well Pikeview shot the ball in the first half, and they, they did. They shot 63%. Problem was they turned it over 12 times, which uh, kept the Spartans in this game, and uh, two early ones here in the third quarter now, and the Spartans are back in the lead. Gabbard left alone, fires for three. The shot rims out, rebound to Pikeview now, controlled the left corner. Yeah, a couple of Spartans fought over the ball there underneath and uh, ended up losing possession. Here's Dane Wood, he fires from the right side, it's no good. Seams with a rebound, Seams up the floor. Takes it down the right side. Sends it over now to corner. Here's a Gabbard three, shot and will not go, but Goose gets his rebound back. Gives it over to Ryan Cole. Now Seams out front for a three. That one's offline. Foul call near on the rebound. They're going to get Cole on that one. Ryan Cole, the 6'4 sophomore, with his first. Team foul number one. And uh, Spartans getting a little three happy. 0 for 4 here already in the third quarter, shooting the three. Ball slapped away by Cole out of bounds. Possession will stay with Pikeview. Cole's got some long arms, long, thin guy, but yep. you know, plays much taller than he is, and he's pretty tall. <laughs> Tallest uh, Spartan on this team at 6'4. 535 to go. In the third, three ball left side. That's a well, that's not good. Uh, rebound comes out to Lawson and underneath a foul called as Pike views Dylan Blake goes to the floor and he'll shoot two. That'll go on Aaron Griffith and that's going to be his third. Team foul number two. And that three was missed because of Ryan Cole. Got that long arm up and uh, very tough to shoot over. Shot come up way short, and that gave Pikeview the easy rebound. Dylan Blake at the line, hits the first. It's a one-point East lead at 43-42. Second win is up and good as well. And we are tied at 43. Pikeview with some full court pressure. Seams stops his dribble, needs help, sends it over to the left side to Cole Withrow, drives in, cross courts, goose open three, no good. Rebound kicks out long to Seams. He'll dump it into Cole. He will post up and draw the foul. They'll call it a four foul on the Pikeview Panthers. That'll go on Drew Danewood, I believe. Gonna be his third, team foul number one. I'm gonna go ahead and say, Jeff, the Spartans gonna finish this game down about three players the way they're calling fouls. I'd agree. Gabe Patton has checked in. Corner, three, Cole, shot too strong, rebound comes into Vestal. <laughs> Up the floor, they'll throw it away. It's out of bounds. And I think that's uh, Pikeview ball. They're going to say that ball was tipped by Greenbrier East. Maybe if we watch the monitor, we can see it. I had no idea who that ball went off of. <laughs> Here's the long inbound for Pikeview. They'll work it around back to the left side on the baseline. Now it goes, a three ball put up and in for Vestal. He's got 17. Pikeview by three, 46-43. And Vestal's just shot the lights out. He's got 17 in the game. Here's Patton at the other end. He fires a three. That's Gabe Patton. His shot no good. Seams rebounds, puts it up and in. And we got a timeout on the floor. I think that's going to be East calling the timeout. 4.22 to go in the first quarter. And I'm sorry, in the third quarter, it's Pikeview 46, East 45. This is a 30-second timeout along the line. This is Spartan basketball in the Bear 103.
and they trail it now by a point, 46 to 45. Jeff Campbell and Stan Unruh with you tonight. Spartan basketball near Athens, West Virginia. 4.20 to go in the third quarter. Pike View inbounds. They'll get it down underneath the basket. The ball slapped away and out of bounds. Seams nearly came up with it. And he's mad at himself, Stan. He didn't come up with that play, but he makes so many others. Yeah. He just gets his hands on so many passes in, in the game and knocks so many balls away. It makes it really difficult. Is that him again? That yep. Tipped that one out of bounds. Pike View will inbound. Peyton Greer gets it in the right side for Rife. Out front, a three ball is short. Rebound comes down to Pike View offensively. It's Rife. He'll drive and score. Nathan Rife extends the Pike View lead out to three, 48 45. Spartan's got to do a lot better getting bodies on people. Here Seams drives in off the pass from Cole. Shot won't go. Rebound comes into Vestal of Pike View. And it's stolen away. Layup shot missed by Gabe Patton, but he'll draw a two-shot foul. Yeah, Adam added himself. He missed that layup and the putback. And uh, fortunately for the Spartans, they were able to get the ball back and uh, get another shot attempt. And Gabe Patton will draw the foul. He'll go to the line for two. He's not scored tonight. That's Bestel's second. Patton's free throw, no good. Six-foot sophomore has not scored yet in the game tonight. His team trailing by three. Free throw woes continue for the Spartans. Missed them both. Rebound comes down to Pikeview. Up the floor. They'll get it down underneath to Thomas, and it's going to be slapped out of bounds. Cole playing defense on Thomas that time. Yeah, and had a, had a few words to say to him after he blocked that shot. Long inbound, out on the left wing for Rife. In the paint to Blake, outside. Here's a three ball put up. That one missed by Bestel. Rebound comes in to Seams. Seams down the floor, takes it, kicks it in the corner. Goose for three, yes! Goose Gabbert's got 10 points. And we're tied at 48. Up the floor with it comes East. Defensively, back on the left side, a three ball put up. That one is no good for Pikeview. And on the rebound, they're going to call a foul on the Panthers, Dylan Blake. Yeah, and that's Goose. Got 13 in the game now after hitting that three. And uh, the foul goes against Pikeview, just as you called, Dylan Blake. And I believe that's his second team foul number three against Pikeview. And... Uh, Spartans now have tied it up with possession. Here's Brammer, gives it into Seams. Pass. Inside, layup shot is good for Jude Libby. Yeah, Adam Seams, great look. 50 to 48, Spartans by two. Approaching the two and a half minute mark of this third quarter. Here's Cameron Lawson for the Peckview Panthers and they're gonna get a little. Nickel and Dahmer as, as they say, and that's Bryson Brammer, I believe. It is, that's gonna be his second. Team foul number three, and I, I believe that guy, same guy's called all three of them. <laughs> he looks familiar, Stan, I just can't place it. I've, I think I've seen that gentleman someplace before. Here's Cameron Lawson, drives in, lays it up, and scores, he's got 12. We're tied at 50. 220 left in the third, Brammer. Over to Gabbert, out top to Seams, drives, shoots and scores with a left-hand layup. Seams with 19 points. Spartans lead at 52-50 with two minutes to go in the third. I think for Adam Seams, we might be approaching a career high here. And Seams with a slap of that pass from Nathan Reif, knocks it out of bounds. Subs coming in, Aaron Griffith back in for the Spartans. He'll check in. Adam Seams will get a break.
Panthers will inbound. Here's Dunn. Gives it over on the left side. Now they'll kick it out on the wing. Right in the paint, down into Blake. Oh, and they're going to get Goose for a reach in. And I don't know that he had any business doing it. I That's think, his fourth. Yeah, he just kind of squatted down and reached in for that ball. And the way they're calling it tonight, you, you just can't do that. Comes with 1.39 to go in the third. And Goose with five and a quarter, 13 in the game. We'll have to set out the rest of the third quarter, probably the first couple minutes of the fourth. So the Panthers will inbound. Here's a steal. Get, uh, Zach Patton up the floor, drives in. Shot no good, but Brammer there to clean it up and score. Spartans by four with 90 seconds to go in the third. Inside, the Panthers work it in, and they score as Jared Vestal lays it up and scores and draws the foul. He's got 19 points. And other, other than three threes, he's not missed a shot from the floor, I don't believe. Did they get Adam on that I one? I think it's either. If it's Adam, or, that's just his first. It is. It is. They finally post it. Vestal will go to the line. Free throw's good. He's, He's got, got a 20-point 20 20. night. 54-53 East by a point on the road tonight at Pikeview. Here's Cole in the left corner, gives it off to Seams. Seams will drive, cross courts, Brammer open three. Yes! Brammer hits the three from the right wing. It's a four point lead. 57-53, Spartans on top of Pikeview. Good hustle there by Aaron Griffith, knock that ball out of bounds. And uh, now under a minute, 49 seconds to go here. See if the Spartans can finally finish a quarter strong. Panthers get it in here to Caleb Dunn. Inside layup good. That's Dylan Blake. 57-55 East. Down to 35 seconds to go in the third. Here's Zach Patton. He'll drive his left-handed layup is no good. It's out of bounds. Pikeview basketball. Yeah, that's just too soon by Zach Patton. I think 28 seconds at that point, unless you've got a wide open look, you, you know, just keep on dribbling the ball and uh, we'll play for one. Now you give them a chance to tie it up or take the lead going into the fourth. And a steal by Seams, knocks it away from Vestal. Up the floor, layup, shot is good. Brammer down low, has got 10 points. 59-55. What's that, Stan? I think it's seven in a row for Brammer, isn't it? I think he's on a 7-0 run himself. For the I Spartans. think so, he is. The Spartans up four, 8.8 .8 seconds to go. Inbound, corner three, right, good. He hit it from the right corner. 59-58. Here's a long shot at the buzzer. Seems it is, oh, no good. That thing bounced off the rim about three times and finally fell off. End of three. Spartans 59, Pikeview 58. You're listening to Spartan Basketball and the Bear 103.1 FM.
Inside, here's a... Griffin missed. And then Caden Huffman, who's checked in for the first time, draws the foul. And that'll send Huffman, I believe, to the line for two. This is the first time he's played tonight, starting here in the fourth quarter. That's on Jared Bestel. That's going to be his third. Caden Huffman at the line. Good on the first one. Boy, did we need that. 60 to 58. Just to see a free throw go in. Second one, no good. Rebound comes down to Blake. Spartans by two. Pikeview with the basketball. Blake. Gets it across, stolen away. Here comes Griffith. Griffith drives, takes it inside, and he draws the foul. Oh, they call him. What do they call? I couldn't see the cheerleaders are in my way, Stan. Two-shot two foul, so it'll be a block. I believe they've got uh, Dane Wood on that, and if so, that's his fourth. It is his fourth. You'll see our video productions replay. Here's Aaron Griffith. He will drive. Oh, yeah, obvious. Yep. Stepped right into him. Great call. It'll be Aaron Griffith at the line. He's got five points in the game. First one up, no good. The woes continue. You got him for five or seven. Who? Griffith. Five. Okay. 60 to 58, 7.33 to go. Missed the first. One of three from the free throw line. Second one up, oh, missed them both. Rebound comes down to Pikeview. And the Panthers can tie it, take the lead, but a steal by Seams. No, a pass inside, and they draw the foul against Pikeview. Had some great no-look passes that time after the steal by Seams. As Seams slapped it away, no-looks to Brammer. He feeds it over to Griffith, and the foul called on Pikeview's Peyton Greer. Griffith will go back to the line and shoot two more. First one is good. Now two out of five from the line. Six points on a night now for Aaron Griffith. His second is no good, but he gets his rebound back offensively. Now to Seams, Gabbert left alone for three, no good. Here's Griffith underneath, he'll post up and put it back up and in. Griffith with eight, Spartans lead it. 63-58, now Seams with a steal, Brammer a three, yes! Brammer with 13 off the assist that time, and Pike, Pikeview takes the timeout. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The Spartans lead it. 66 to 58, a full timeout. You're listening to Spartan Basketball on the Bear 103. The Spartans lead it by eight. Now East with pressure. Pikeview brings it up the floor now to Nathan Wright. They'll swing it around top of the key, back over to Wright. Baseline shot is up, that one no good. Rebound comes down 
to Seams. Seams takes it all the way, lays it up and scores. Adam Seams, 21 points. Spartans lead it now by 10. And a steal, it's tipped away and picked up by Goose Gabbard. Gabbard up the four. Swings it over to Brammer on the right wing. Out top to Seams, inside layup is good for Griffith. He's got 10. 70 to 58. The Spartans on a 10-0 run to begin this fourth quarter. Pikeview works it down and a foul called here on, and we got a technical foul's been called against Pikeview's Dylan Blake. Yeah, he shoved uh, Bryson Brammer after that play. They're gonna call the personal foul on Blake and the technical foul on Blake. We have our video productions replay. We're getting take advantage of. Well, yeah, he pushed Brammer. Yeah, I, I think they had to foul on Brammer originally and then the, the shove for the technical. So we're not in an official timeout, but the referee coming over to explain the situation to the coaches. Maybe to the official scorer as well. So the technical will count as a team foul. That'll bump them up to seven. And I'm assuming they called the first foul on Bryson Brammer, his third, and that'll be team foul number six against East. So no free throws as it was only the Spartan six team foul, but the Spartans should shoot free throws on the technical and by rule get the ball back. 6.07 to go here. And the officials discussing it now, trying to figure out what they just called. I've done explained it. Let's go ahead and shoot our free throws. You did a fine job, Stan. You know, I used to masquerade as one of those zebras. I saw that one time. Yeah. Okay, the first foul, we got Butch Mounts helped us out here. And the first foul went on Brammer. And but, then the technical foul was called against Blake. That's just team foul number six. There's no free throws. There, why are they shooting a free throw? Was there a double technical? Because that's just team foul six on the Spartans. There's no free throws here. That wasn't right. a technical, I don't think, called against uh, Brammer. It's only team foul number six. Okay, referees now conferencing again. Let's make sure they haven't added a point to them. All right, they haven't they added have a not point. on the scoreboard yet. All right. Even though the free throw was successful by Nathan Reif. Yeah, it's only team foul number six. There's no free throws for Pikeview here. And that wasn't a shooting foul no. against Brammer. No. As Pikeview did have possession in their front court. It happened way out on the high post over near the sideline. Yeah, so uh, the Spartans should shoot free throws. And uh, if I'm picking somebody, I want to pick Adam Seams. He's three for three tonight. And uh, has been about the only consistent shooter now, what we got here? What, there, well, we'll send Bryson Brammer to the line. He's not shot a free throw tonight. Maybe he's shooting the technicals. No, he was fouled. No, no that's, that's right. That was that's technical right. The technical. Foul. My fault. My fault. Yeah. I'm not sure why they're making him shoot him. Unless it's coach's decision for him to shoot, and he makes one out of two. And now it'll be Spartan basketball. Yes. So that free throw a moment ago there by Pikeview's Nathan Reif does not count. No, no. So uh, the free throw, one, one out of two for Brammer. He's got 14 in the game. He's the second leading scorer for the Spartans tonight. Yeah. 
Spartan. Inbound comes in, East for three. It's good for Griffith. Aaron Griffith from 13 points now. Spartans opening up a 16-point can here with just under six minutes to go. Another steal by Griffith. Up the floor, Griffith drives, lays it up and scores. He's got 15 points. 10 in the quarter. 5.46 to go. Greenbrier East now by 18 points. It was a one-point game entering the fourth quarter, and the Spartans are on a 17-0 run to begin the first two minutes and 14 seconds of the fourth quarter. And Seams, with some pressure defense, it goes out of bounds, but they'll say it belongs to Pikeview. Adam doesn't agree, but uh, he don't have final say. Here come the Panthers. They've been held scoreless so far in this first half or fourth quarter, and now a steal and Seams drives in and lays it up and in. He's got 23. Spartans by 20 points now. 5.25 to go, another steal. Brammer, corner three, no good. Rebound to Pikeview. Caleb Dunn, now it's knocked out. Picked up by Goose Gabbert. Wow, 23 turnovers tonight. Here's Huffman, gets it down underneath here to <laughs> Griffith. He lost his glasses. Yeah, he had his glasses knocked off. No foul call, just uh, they're, they're going to wait and let him pick up his glasses at least. He gets mugged down here with the basketball. Seems had the steal up near half court earlier and drove in and got the easy layup, having a great game with 23 points tonight for the Spartans. And he'll check out now. Spartans have extended this lead to 20. Is it 19-0 this quarter? Yes, it is. Under five to go in the fourth quarter. They don't go on a 19-0 run all year. Spartans have one in a quarter. Here's Huffman over to Zach Patton. Out to Brammer. He'll drive in. They'll call him for the offensive foul. That'll be his fourth. Team foul number seven. No free throws for an offensive foul, though. Fouls even at seven apiece, so we'll be shooting free throws on any defensive foul from here on out. 19-0 run. 78-58 Spartans with a 20-point lead here on the road at Pikeview. Peyton Greer out top, left wing pass over to Rife. Gets it inside, foul called. That's on uh, Zach Patton. That'll be his fourth. His fourth. And I, I still think we'll lose three before this one's out unless Coach Patton takes all the starters out. We've got Bryson Brammer with four in the game. Aaron Griffith, three. Goose Gabbert, four. Zach Patton, four. Free throw missed. By Blake, Griffith rebounds and outlets to Goose Gabbard. Under 4.20 to go in the game. 78-58, Greenbrier East leading here at Pikeview. And look at the offensive sheet, Jeff, for Pikeview. They've not gotten a shot off this quarter. No, they haven't. East gets it down low. Here's Griffith. He'll pick it up, lay it up, score. A 21-0 run to begin the fourth quarter. Griffith with 17. It's 80-58. And there's finally a shot. And it's a prayer that's answered. And that's Cameron Lawson, who just threw it up running across the lane. He'll get the bucket and the foul. Lawson cut inside from the foul line, and he's fouled by Caden Huffman. Huffman's first. Team foul number nine. And the first shot of the quarter finally goes down. It's taking them over half the quarter to get a shot up at the rim. Lawson now with 12 points. He's got 13 on the foul shot. 80 to 61 now. 
Spartans by 19, 3.40 to play. Here's Gabe Patton. Gives it over to Zach Patton. Left wing to Goose Gabbard. He squares for three and he hits it. Goose with 16 points. 83-61. Eight in each half for Goose. Pikeview works it around the right side. Over to Lawson. And it's knocked away, controlled by Gabe Patton. Turnover 24 for Pikeview. Gabbard brings it across half court, works it in front of the Spartan bench. They'll get it down inside, and Griffith posts up and scores. Griffith with 19 points, 85-61. Yeah, most of it coming here in the fourth quarter. Here's a steal by Withrow, lead pass, Griffith, he goes in. Thought he was going to try a little two-hand dunk action. He tried it and missed it. But he <laughs> draws the foul, and his glasses come off again. I got undercut a little bit there. We'll... Drew Danewood is fouled out with four points. Nice look ahead by Withrow. Did he sweep the leg? Griffith at the line. First one is up, no good. Aaron leaving a lot of points on the board here with these free throws. Now two out of eight. Second one, good. It is a 20-point night for Aaron Griffith. 2.37 to go. 86-51 East by 25 points here on the road. And if you'd have said this at the end of the third, someone would have thought you were just crazy. Not sure what's going on here. See some more subs. Jude Libby back in the game. Cole Withrow, Zach and Gabe Patton. Who else we got out here, Jeff? Uh, let's see, Withrow, Zach Patton. Gabe Patton. Goose Gabbert. Jude Libby, okay. Yep. Down low, layup shot good for Jared Vestal. Boy, he's had a great night. 22 points, 86, 63. 2.15 to play. Here's Jude Libby out top for Zach Patton. He'll drive, lay it up and score. Nice little layup down the lane. 88, 63. Two minutes to go. Pressure defense all night long. Just seems like they've wore down Pikeview a little bit. Three ball put up and missed by Lawson. Libby will rebound. Now with to Goose Gabbard. He'll slow it down and bring it up the floor now with 140 to play. Gives it over to Zach Patton. Left wing, bounce passes to Gabe Patton. Right side corner three is good for Goose Gabbert. Gabbert with 19 points. Timeout on the floor. 125 to go. Greenbrier East, 91. Pikeview, 63. Full timeout. You're listening to Spartan Basketball on the Bear 103.
Pikeview with the basketball. As the Panthers, Caleb Dunn kicks it over the right side. Now to Brent Samoski underneath. A shot is up and in by Caleb Dunn of Pikeview. A minute to go. It's 91-65. Here's Chris Sinclair down on the baseline. He'll put it up. Ball is tipped away. Controlled here by Zach Patton. Now up top to Gabe Patton. Down to 40 seconds to go. Spartans with it out front. Zach Patton with it, 30 seconds to play. Now to Cole Withrow. And we got a foul against East away from the ball. I didn't see it. But the Panthers will bring it up the floor. And they're going to fall to 0-2 here tonight. Driving shot, Chris Sinclair blocks it away. Rebound comes down to Gabe Patton. Patton waves everybody back. He'll bring it up the floor now with 10 seconds. Patton is going to dribble this one out. The buzzer sounds. The ball game's over. And Jared Patton wins his first game as head coach of the Greenbrier East Spartans on the road tonight. It's Greenbrier East 91, Pikeview 65. As the Spartans improve to 1 and 2, Pikeview falls to 0 oh and 2. We'll return. You're listening to the Cornerstone IGA post game show on the Bear 103.1 FM. From the moment you walk into PostNet, we've got your back. From design and printing to shipping and more, whatever you need, we can help. We can bring your projects to life with advice and insight so you never feel like you're going it alone. Help you tackle everything in one place with a one-stop shop for everything from shipping a package to printing your big presentation. Save you time by not only getting the job done right, but also right on time. And all with exceptional PostNet customer service. We're more than just a place to get things done. We're your people. Hey, man, I really appreciate that Patrick Price on my insurance, Jake, from State Farm. Being a champ has its perks. Here's the deal, Patrick. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Let me repay the favor with some field passes. Come on. No favors, just great rates. Okay, fine. I'll let you wear the ring, but only for a day. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford, three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Back at Pikeview High School near Athens where the Greenbrier East Spartans have won it tonight over the Pikeview Panthers by a final score of 91 to 65. Jeff Campbell and Stan Unruh here with you. You're listening to the Cornerstone IGA postgame show here tonight. And the Spartans had a battle for three quarters. This game um, was just a struggle all night long for Greenbrier East through the first three. They trailed at the 3.30 mark of the first quarter, 18 to nine, came back to cut it down to a four point deficit at 22 to 18 after the end of the quarter. Then they outscore Pikeview 21-17 in the second. Tie game at 39. Then in the third quarter, East outscored Pikeview 20 to 19. It was 59-58. Going to the fourth quarter, 
And then the Spartans went on a 21-0 run to begin the fourth quarter. They end up the quarter out scoring Pikeview 32-7. They win it tonight in convincing fashion, 91-65 over the Pikeview Panthers. This game, when you look at the score, uh, if you didn't watch the game, if you just you know saw some highlights uh, later, read about it in the paper tomorrow, you're going to see the final, and it's going to be somewhat reminiscent of the game Saturday against Roanoke Catholic where uh, the Spartans lost by 17, but it was much closer than that, just kind of got away from Greenbrier East at the end. The same thing happened in this game tonight. It was close until the fourth quarter, and the Spartans again outscoring the Panthers 32-7 to and win it tonight here on the road to get their first win of the 2022 campaign. We'll come back. We'll have our Magic's Computer Repair Player of the Game. We will also take a look at our final numbers. Spartans win 91-65 to here on the road at Pikeview. We'll come back. You're listening to the Cornerstone IGA postgame show on the Bear 103.1 FM. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. That's right. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Here in West Virginia, we're known as hard workers, friendly faces, and people with a caring spirit. At Summit Community Bank, those qualities are at the core of all that we do. We're a group of experienced professional bankers that you've known for many years. We work hard to earn your business and will work even harder to help you succeed. We customize banking solutions that work for you. We're Summit Community Bank. Service beyond expectations. Did you hear that? The State Farm thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris. Things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris, no! Ooh, see? Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back inside Pikeview High School, you're listening to the Cornerstone IGA postgame show. Spartans win it tonight over Pikeview 91 to 65. Want to remind everyone, <clears throat> special event coming up Friday at the Spartan Gym as Greenbrier East will take on uh, the Beckley Flying Eagles. And uh, in that game on Friday night, it's going to be a chance for uh, someone to win $25,000. Here's what you got to do bring a canned good to the game on Friday night. And uh, you'll be entered in a little drawing. They'll draw a name, and you can come out on the floor at halftime of the varsity game. And if you can sink a 94-foot putt, a full-court putt, you're going to win $25,000, courtesy of Jason Hall and Alcoba Mortgage in Lewisburg. Again, that's Friday night. Bring a canned good for the food drive <clears throat> and have a chance to win. $25,000. So Friday night at Spartan Gym in Fairley. Greenbrier East wins it here tonight on the road against Pikeview 91 to 65. It's time now for our Magic's Computer Repair Player of the Game. And Stan, we're going to be unanimous on this tonight. It's going to be Bryson Brammer finished up with 14 points. Yes, there were more people who scored more points. He came off the bench to do it. Uh, filled in a role tonight uh, as the Spartans were without Monquel Davis in this game. And Bryson Brammer hit some big shots in the contest. 
at key times. 14 points on a night. Bryson Brammer is our Magic's computer repair player of the game. Yeah, absolutely. That's seven. He scored seven straight for the Spartans in that third quarter to keep a minute when we were struggling a little bit to get us back to even and then four more points in that big uh, 19-0 run to start the fourth quarter to help the Spartans pull away. So uh, excellent game for Bryson Brammer, and he is our player of the game. Uh, we'll look at some stats, point totals. Uh, we'll start with the uh, the homestanding Pikeview Panthers. They were led in scoring by Jared Vestal's 22 10 points each for Nathan Reif and uh, Dylan Blake. Four points for Drew Danewood, who fouled out of the game. Uh, David Thomas, uh, Caleb Dunn with two points each there at the end of the game uh, for Pikeview for their 65 points. Uh, the Spartans led in scoring tonight by Adam Seams. Had, uh, didn't score a lot the other day against uh, Roanoke Catholic. Made up for tonight, 23 points on the night. He was the game high scorer. Aaron Griffith. Had 20 for the Spartans. Goose Gabbert with 19 points in the game for East. Bryson Brammer with 14. Again, our player of the game. Jude Libby with five. Caden Huffman, one. Zach Patton with six. And Cole Withrow with three uh, for the Spartans. 91 points tonight. And uh, when you have three guys, 23, 20, 19 like that, you got to have those three guys be able to score in upper double figures uh, to have chance to win games, and that's what the Spartans had tonight for the first time this year, and they get their first win of the season and improve to uh, one and two. Final score, Greenbrier East 91, Pike Pew 65. We'll come back, tell you about our next broadcast, <clears throat> and we'll wrap it up from here. You're listening to the Cornerstone IGA Post Game Show on the Bear 103.1 FM. The power of three, Greenbrier Chevrolet, Greenbrier Motor Company, and Greenbrier Ford, three dealerships who pay the most for your trade. I'm talking up to 33% over what other dealerships will offer and way more than you'll get if you try to sell it yourself. In fact, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. So not only are the Greenbrier dealerships the best place to buy a car, they're also the best place to sell your car. So get to the Greenbrier dealerships in Lewisburg today and convert that car to cash. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Did you hear that? The State Farm thing. Da -da 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 -da. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris, things are gonna go surprisingly great. Dad, look! Chris, no! Ooh, see, surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, w I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back inside Pikeview High School for our final go around. You're listening to the Cornerstone IGA post game show as the Spartans win it tonight here on the road. Final score Spartans 91, Pikeview 65. Don't forget Lady Spartan basketball action coming up on Saturday morning. That'll be on Rock 95. Greenbrier East Lady Spartans at home to take on Musselman. So join Timmy Gwynn and Cam Huffman for that one coming up on Saturday morning. But don't forget Friday night, the Spartan boys at home to take on the Beckley Flying Eagles, bring a canned good out, have a chance to win $25,000 by a 94-foot putt at halftime of the varsity game. You must bring a canned good to be eligible and be registered to participate in that coming up at halftime. 
That leads to our next Spartan broadcast coming up this Friday night as the Greenbrier East Spartans are at home to take on the Beckley Flying Eagles. Join us for the Fritz's Pharmacy of Alderson Spartan Countdown at 7.15, tip scheduled at 7.30. It's Greenbrier East and Beckley Friday night from the Spartan Gym. That'll do it from here. Our final score again is Greenbrier East 91, Pikeview 65. For our producer, Pat Williams, for our friend Butch Mounts, for Stan Unruh, this is Jeff Campbell saying so long from Mercer County.